Let me know if the sound is good. Let me know if you hear the, see the slide, hear me. Okay, great. Everyone and welcome. And most of you know that means it is time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the StockSwish.com. Please welcome Melissa Armour. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Thanks so much for having me, Online Trader Central. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh. And today I'm going to talk about my strategy, the way I trade in the market. So I'm going to talk about how you can make $1,000 a day trading just one strategy. So I trade, I day trade stocks in the U.S. stock market. And I have one method and one strategy that I use, which I'm going to talk about today. And you can do it for options trading or for equity trading. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. And you can go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype and follow me at any one of those places. So we we're talking about this in the room today and it made me think about something to discuss in the webinar. You know, if you've been trying to trade for a while with, with you know, some success, limited success, or maybe no success, you've probably got the market bug. The market bug is something that once it hits you, it's hard to get rid of it. In fact, I don't think you ever get rid of it. If you've ever made even one dollar in the market, you see the potential that you can pull money out of the market. The fact is, though, how can you do it consistently so that you can make money on a regular basis and also not lose? Because a lot of people lose money in the market. And there are various reasons why people lose money. One of the reasons is they don't have a good strategy. I also think one of the reasons is that they overcomplicate the whole trading process. And the reason why I said, you know, today we're going to talk about the simplicity of trading one strategy is that it's about the focus. So many people want to do different strategies all throughout the trading day and trade all day long. I don't do that, okay? I only trade one strategy. I only do it in the first hour of the day and usually in the first half hour of the day. So if you're one of these people and you've got the market bug, then I'm here to tell you that it is possible for you to make money in the market. There are a lot of people that don't, but the reasons, like I said, are that they don't have a good focus and they also don't have a good attitude about money. And we're going to talk about that a little bit today too. So if the market bug has, has got you, okay, then you want to make money trading. That's your goal, okay? And you can make money in the U.S. stock market. I'm doing it, I'm teaching people to do it. You've just got to get focused. So the question is how and what to do. Well, you need a strategy, you need a focus, and you need a system. And it doesn't hurt to have someone calling the trades. I call the trades in my live trading room. I also help mentor people. I don't think you have to have this, uh, but I think it helps. And anything that you can do to help you be successful trading or taking trades in the market helps, okay? I will tell you though, the trading is a lot of fun. Once you feel confident that you can do it and you gain that confidence within yourself, which the strategy helps you to do, it will be easier for you to trade. It will be easier for you to take risk. And I tell people it gets easier over time. So I've been trading now for you know more than eight years and I've really been focusing on gaps for the majority of my trading career. So as time goes on, it becomes easier for you. So that's something positive I want you to recognize and it's something to, for you to look forward to in the future, okay? So let's talk about how you can be successful. One of the key things is, as I said, you've got to have a focus on one strategy. There are many different ways to make money in the market. The reason that I like what I do, okay, which a strategy I trade is called gaps, which I'm going to talk about, is because of the fact that it sets up early in the morning. A, I'm a morning person. B, I'm also very impatient, okay, and the trades that I take move quick in the morning between 9.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So, you know, if you, if you like what I have to say today, you may want to learn my strategy from me. If not, still think about the concept I'm trying to teach you here, which is that you've got to have a focus on one strategy. 
and and you get good at that one thing and that's how you make money to be a jack of all trades in the market it, it doesn't help you and also you'll never get good at one thing doing that so part of the reason for my success is that i'm good at this one strategy too it's like the focus on it and i'm good at it and that helps you make more money and take more risk okay because no one should be taking you know a lot of risk in trades i'm talking about monetary risk if you don't know the strategy well okay so as i was saying the strategy i trade is gaps you can unlock the keys to your own personal profit potential in the market you've got to do it yourself okay so what i do is gaps now what are what are gaps i'm going to show you some charts gap trading is where the real money moves the momentum of the market take hold that's where all the volatility and momentum come in and we're going to look at all the charts actually from the last weeks of trades today last calendar week monday through friday trading gaps makes it possible to trade for a living if this is something you want to do and i say that meaning that if you didn't want to have a regular job you could just make money for the market now some people like their job and they can keep their job and trade too because of the fact that the strategy i do sets up so quickly and then you're in and you're out and you're done but if you want to do nothing but trade you can and there's a lot of volatility in the stocks that i'm trading so the main objective for you to understand is that you only really need one quality strategy that's it to make money and then you plop on the size and then you could do it in different ways with options or the equity trades or even swing trades long-term investments although i'm not going to talk about that today one quality strategy is all you need to pay yourself on a regular basis you should get at least one good trade a, a day five a week some weeks or so you may only get four okay because sometimes mondays are slow days but then you can replace them by doing the, making money doing options too so knowing one good strategy that you can replicate over and over for profits can change your whole trading outlook and i think that's very powerful for people too because a lot of people have been trying different things and not making money and not seeing the potential once you start to make money and get green day after day after day week after week it really changes your whole outlook on the fact that you can make money doing this so what i do is trade something called professional gaps and they can they have a lot of volatility and they can pay big money it depends how long you hold them and we're going to talk about that a little bit today too with targets okay jay has no sound there kathy i don't know if you can help so let's talk about professional gaps kathy can you help jay i just saw that there as i was talking a professional gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap so if a stock is gapping down, I look to short it. If a stock is gapping up, I'm looking to go long it. It's called a professional gap because professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. That's what happens. So in the case of a bullish gap up, we're going to look at some bullish gaps today. Professionals are buying the stock, moving it higher. Therefore, the stock moves higher in the trading day. In the case of a bearish gap, professionals are shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower in the trading day. Okay. I'm talking. Can everybody hear me? I am speaking. Can everyone hear me? Jay says he can. Jay needs help. I think it's just Jay. Kathy, can you help Jay? So my strategy my system is called the golden gap and the reason i read i i decided to call it that is because it is like finding gold in the market because my system is a high odds of success when i find gaps that are highly rated now what does that mean it means they have a high odds that they're going to work on the day in other words if i say amazon is higher this is the target it rates per my 26 point rating system i have an 80 percent win ratio so that means if you take 10 trades two will lose and eight will work and that is important in having a system too because you don't want to have a system that has a lot of drawdowns you want to have a system that has a high win ratio okay you will take some losers in any system nothing is 100 percent, but you have to focus on something that has a high win ratio it is about probability i think this is one of the reasons why trading Treat, it's, people people just they, they over it you can't it's not the end of the world if you take one loss in a trade what does become the end of the world is if you dig yourself into a huge massive hole okay 
you know, you always have the next day to get up and train. If you take one loss of the day, that's not going to kill you, okay? And like I said at the beginning, if the market bug has you, then chances are you're going to get up and trade tomorrow anyways. So just take the loss if the trade doesn't work that day. Because this job, this thing, this trading, pulling money out of the market does have to do with probabilities, all right? And what you want to do is put the odds in your favor. And if you can, and understand that, and use a system that is consistent, then you've got an edge and you can use it to make money. Now, what is the philosophy behind what I do? I'm reading the price of the gap. And I'm using advanced technical analysis to pinpoint the directional bias the stock is going to move in the day. I'm predicting it. I'm predicting it actually in the pre-market before the open or at night. I don't know if there's anything out tonight. Galahad can let me know. We can look at some stuff. But I make the prediction before the market opens. I rate the gap based on my 26-point rating system. That sounds like a lot of detail, but the fact is it makes it very simple then to trade on the day because it pinpoints the one or two stocks to trade and watch instead of scanning into the open. That, to me, is very stressful. And actually, that's the way that a lot of traders trade. A lot of traders trade by scanning in the first 30 minutes, and I'm in and I'm out, okay? It only takes a few minutes to rate the gap and go through the process. And if you're experienced, you could do it in less than one. So it's about high probability. Now, let me explain to those of you that are new what a gap is. For those of you that don't know, a gap is when, a, this is a daily chart, okay, when the stock closes at a certain price at four o'clock Eastern time, this is the US market, so we have a close and we have an open. And then it opens the next morning at 9.30 at a different price. And that's what this stock did. So it closed up here around 15 something and it opened in the morning down what? Around 11 something, boom. So it closed here and opened here. So the stock gap down. So in the morning, I'm seeing this gap in the pre-market because I have the pre-market data. And then I go through the process and I rate the gap to determine if I think it's gonna keep going down or is it gonna rally? In which case you would wanna buy it. But that's not what I look to do. It was a short, okay? So what happens with gaps is they are created with large institutional money and that's how you get those big moves. That is number one, what makes the gap in the first place, the ones I'm looking at. And then that's how they continue. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. This is how this continued to sell off. This the only way this keeps going is selling action and you have the shorts in here too, okay? So what I do is I have a strategy that tells me that this is gonna to continue to sell off in the gap itself in that direction. Or in the case of a long, if it was a bullish gap, that it would continue to go higher. And then I'm confirming that the large money will go with it when I take the setup, okay? So I don't get in the trades until after the open. So I have a formula to rate and qualify the gap. Then I get the confirmation and the conviction that it's gonna follow through, that the institutional money will follow through, be on my side, and then I'm gonna play it. So gaps are an event. They create what's called a sense of urgency in the stock that's forced action that moves it. It's a panic action. Now, what do I mean? I mean, if you are long this stock, and I, I'm not gonna tell you what it's called here. It doesn't matter, that's the point, okay? This could be anything at all. We're reading price action in the chart. This could be ABC mumbo jumbo, okay? The point is, if you're long this stock and you own it, okay, say, say you own it, and say you were already down before the gap a little bit. Let's say you bought it over here. Let's say you bought this stock at 17 bucks and it moved down and you were already down a buck and a half. But then it had lifted here and you're like, oh, I'm gonna be okay, I'm gonna be okay, I'm gonna be okay, and then boom. So say you own it at 17, you bought it in here when you thought it looked great. Now you were down, you were down some previously. Now you're really down, okay? Now you're down $6 in the stock. What are you going to do, okay? So this is the sense of urgency. An action is being forced by participants of the stock. And this is why gap trading is so powerful. Because I'm spotting and finding those people that are trapped, that, that, that panic. So trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power money. You are and that's how you as one individual can trade the market without having hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, okay? So it is simple. You just have to learn it and then do it. 
What I think people find complicated about trading is number one, they they don't want to focus because they think if they're if they that they always think they're going to miss something, and people also think they have to be in tons of trades. That's just not true at all. Okay, even if you have a small account. You're better off taking one trade with three or 400 shares than you are taking three trades with 100 shares each, okay? It doesn't, it, you don't become more profitable by taking more trades. You become more profitable by getting good and having the focus, which means you only, only need one trade or maybe two. So don't make it harder than it is. Also, I think people read charts incorrectly. And I know that a lot of people have read books on charts and studied charts and are trading currently. And some people have been trading longer than I'm alive and yet read charts incorrectly, okay? One of the things you would learn if you came with me is you would learn how to read charts based on technical analysis and gaps because that's what I focus on when I read a chart. It's almost like my eye goes right there. I've trained my eye and my brain to read gaps and charts and that's how I read trends correctly. That's how I'm reading where also the stock is gonna go. I'm reading where the stock is gonna go based on the gap. Galahad is laughing. Why? Because this guy wants to jump off a bridge here? Because <laughs> he's sewing himself? Don't make it harder than it is. Okay, that's the point. Now, let's look at, oh, I, this is an HZNPW. <laughs> I didn't put this here. This is HZNP. Sorry, that's a typo there. But anyways, this was last Monday. So this was a short last Monday and it was a winner. So again, you get up in the morning, you look for the gap. What was the pick? The pick last Monday, which was HZNP. Here, just let me write it in the room here so I can correct, correct it. All right. That's what the pick was to short, and it worked. So if you were in the room with me last Monday, you made money shorting HZNP, okay? And it worked. That was Monday. Tuesday was HTZ. Again, stock closed here, gap down. In the morning, I predicted the stock would fall, and it was a short. And it worked. And then guess what? It actually kept going. So you could have not only done the day trade in this, this was last Tuesday, a week previously, you also could have done it as a swing trade, as an overnight lower. So you made money on Tuesday if you did this with the system. Wednesday was a loser, depot. Now this might be hard to read, but the stock did gap down. It closed here, gap down, rally flipped so bottom line is that this did gap down but it didn't work okay so on Wednesday if you shorted depot you lost it was a bust so you're up money Monday up money Tuesday down money on the Wednesday with the loser then what else there was another pick the same day on the Wednesday it was fossil this one was a winner so I had two watches that day so some days you can do two things if one loses, but no, if you do the second trade, the second trade might fail. In this case here, Fossil worked. So the second pick on the day on Wednesday worked, which was Fossil. Closed here, gap down. If you shorted this, you made money doing this one, okay? So this followed through as well. Day trade, swing trade, follow through lower, okay? That was all on the 10th. Then the next day was Thursday. Again, it was a gap down. This was a huge move in M, which is Macy's. Stock closed here, gap down. Fell very hard in the day. The dream target was 25, it kept going. And actually the real target was 26, but that was still a very nice move. And it broke 25. Also, I wanna point out the follow through. You could have done this again as a day trade or a swing trade. So this is on Thursday. Again, you're shorting the gap down, and I had the pick before the open, all right? Now, I will show you the one-minute chart here in Macy's so you can get an idea where these entries actually set up. You are choosing, let me go back here, you are choosing the, oops, sorry, hold on. You are choosing the gap based on here, the daily chart, okay? But you are taking the entry after the open, here's a one minute, after 9.30, and that's when you're waiting till you're getting in, okay? So the short was here on Macy's. Very quickly I'm getting into these stocks. And then here's the drop. So here was the first target. If you held it, it kept going. And sometimes you can bar by bar these. Just watch it, watch it, watch it. 
You can even lower your stop over top of the pivots if you want to, or you get the drop into the first target and you just get out. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can't lose money when you're up getting out when you're up, okay? The other important thing that I do is I put stops in. So the stop in this case here in Macy's was over here. Now what does that mean? It means if the trade would not have worked, like the depot, depot I took a stop, if this trade would not have worked, you would have lost money, okay? But it did work. But the stop protects you. It's like the insurance which protects you from the trade not working. So anyways, the entry in this, and we'll go back and look at it in a minute, you would have shorted the stock here at $26.77. Size in this trade, if you took an advanced risk, was 4,000 shares. Stop, 27.10. If you got out at $26, how much money would you have made? $3,080. So this is, this is what I normally do. Get in a trade and get out into the first move. But like I said, it did keep going. It actually went another dollar. You could have had an enormous day in this if you even held this with this size down another buck. You could have made over seven grand. The thing is that you never know if you're staying in something longer exactly where it's going to go. As it turns out, this not only continued on the day, it continued as a longer term trade as you see in here. So it was a crushing gap for the chart for Macy's, all right? So again, here was the entry, here's your stop, you're in, boom, you're up, you take it. So you don't, you, you don't have to make this very complicated. You do have to learn you know, about the entries, to get the entries right, which you'd learn from me in the class, you do have to learn that M is going to fall and not rally, okay? But you only need one of these a day or two of these a day. You could watch if one fails, like on the Wednesday last week. That's all that you need. And, and you don't have to trade until four o'clock. I really find that people give money back the later they trade. Also, I when I first started trading, I did trade all day and it was a disaster. And I realized that I'd be up in the morning, make money in the morning, and give it back in the afternoon, and then try to come back around, and I would just waste my whole day. So now I teach people to stop when they're up, and I do that myself, and I also close the room down between 10, 30, 11 a.m. Eastern time. So my trading room is not open all day either, which is very unusual. Does anyone have any questions about any of these charts so far, or anything I've talked about so far? Just let me know as we're going along here. So right now it's earning season. You can typically look for moves in stocks like this, like I'm showing you here, the trades from last week, in earning season. Five days a week you can get gaps plus options when the market's busy. So in the four quarterly earnings season, stocks report and they usually gap and move. You don't know though if they're gonna gap up or down and you don't know if they're gonna be good gaps or playable gaps until they actually gap, okay? So for you to be able to make $3,000 in one day, even if this was the only trade you did last week, is great money, okay? And it was less than an hour of work. I, I know that, that people want to do this. So you've got to understand that this is amazing when it works. And it's worth, it's worth the effort Okay, it's 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 worth the effort to do it and learn it to be able to make this kind of profits so quickly. So for people that have been trying to trade for years and don't know what to do or, or, or think they know how to read a chart and don't and then feel frustrated, you know, don't overcomplicate it for yourself. Have a focus on one strategy and, and know that all the effort that you're putting into something is worth it because you'll never make this kind of money in anything else as quickly as you can in the market but you still have to be right, okay? And you have to be right a lot, which is the point. So on Friday, I did a baby one here in JCPenney, but it actually kept going. Another one that kept going, and another one that kept going is, guess what, a swing trade. JCPenney was a short on Friday, open, dropped, gap down, closed here around 5.30, open in the morning around 4.99. I think it opened right under five bucks, actually. Open dropped, went to what I would have said the dream target for 50, continued down, bounced. So this is a daily chart. You would have got up in the morning, looked at JCPenney, rated it per my system, determined it was a short, and opened, when it opened and you took the setup and you shorted it. So I'm showing you here an example of a small move in a stock because not every day will be a huge day like the Macy's, but it doesn't matter as long as you're winning. Here's a one minute chart. Stock close to your gap down. Open, bounce, boom. Short it, dropped. 
did it, was out. In this trade, less than 10 minutes, okay? And I really did not think this was gonna go to 450 on Friday, but it did. The stock was very, very weak. So do you see here again, this is, all you have to do is get the move. And most of the moves happen between that time period of 9.30 and 10 o'clock. Four gaps, okay? I'm talking about gap trading now because that's all that I do. But every bar that I showed you here, do you see all of these ones from last week? All the gaps from last week, all the trade calls in the room, all the trades have nice fat bars, okay? They have fat ones, and that's what you want, okay? Galahad is saying there's not, not much gapping tonight. Target before the open tomorrow. All right. Urban's out. What is it doing? You can write them in the room. I can look at it five times. Anyways, if you did the JCPenney, again, entry, 490, stop was 505. Boom, you're in, 15 cents. Exit, 475, 750 bucks. This is, you know, that's real money. Again, less than 10 minutes of work, but you got to get the pick right. And there were several other gaps on Friday. JWN Nordstrom was one. Uh, you know, I like the JCPenney. So there were, there, were, there were several other things on Friday. Again, I think it's important when you do a trade and you make money and you're up, you stop, especially if your goal is in for the day. And, and I do think it's important to get these trades early in the morning, which is what I teach. You really have to be consistent if you want to do well with this. I think this is the one thing a lot of people lack and I don't, and it's just because I only do one thing. I only do gaps. And I will tell you that I prefer the short side, which is why all these ones here from last week of the day trades are shorts. Now we're going to talk about some options trades because I have an options letter and most of the options, guess what, ironically, have been to the upside because they've been overnights. Now, does anyone have any questions about the day trades, the shorts I just went over there? Let me know. Anyways, you, you want to see visible results. And if you want to do a trial with me in the trading room this week, you're more than welcome to email me. Uh, there's only a few more days left in the week, but you could be in the room Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. And if you have a live account, you can take the trades as I call them. It is very important for people to see results when they're trading. And I think that that is where people start to go sideways with their confidence level. But then when they come around and meet someone like me that knows what they're doing and they start getting green, it, it, it shifts, it, it turns around. I can't tell you how long it's gonna take for you to change your confidence level, but I can tell you it's possible. I see it happen in people. I, I mean, I, I talk to people before they do the class and they are, they are the most skeptical people in the world. And, and literally after the class, within a couple of days or a week, they love me. So, I, I mean, I can turn any skeptic into a believer just after the class and being in the trading room with me because people start to make money. So you really, really got to turn it around for yourself because you, you want to make money. You want to do well. You want to see the results. It's just about finding a focus. And if anything I've said here today makes sense, you know, or you can call and talk to me about more. I know we only have an hour here, but I'll try to get through as much as I can. Anyways, let's talk about the options trades, okay? You can do them for day trades. You can do them for swing trades. I showed you how they continued, and you can do them for options. Now, this was another huge call that I made. I called BABA as an option last week. Actually, no, it was the previous week. It was the previous week that I called this. I called uh, the 120 calls for BABA out that expire this Friday, although the earnings are Thursday morning, so you had to be out of it before Thursday morning. Last day would be tomorrow. Anyways, it gapped up. The day I called, it ran straight up to the strike, which was 120. I said, the dream target, this is 125. I don't know where this closed today, but it ran up to 124, I know that. So within a couple of days, the stock ran up. You're up money in here, you gotta get out of it the first day. If you held it, it blew up. You were up money in this trade every second since I called it for a week more. How was I able to call this and to even pinpoint where it would go? I mean, this was just another great call. Huge winner. The stock's just been going up every day. Most people want to wait till stocks pull back to buy them and go long. And they miss all of the momentum and they miss the move. Okay? That's not how I trade. That's not how I teach people how to trade. And it's not how I make the calls. And it's not how I make the predictions. That's one thing that's so, so different and unique about how I trade. 
And I don't think people really get that listening to me in webinars or being even in the room on trials until they actually do my class and then they then they see. People think this is this is too late to go long here. Anywhere in here at all. People probably thought it was too late to go long in here. And look where the stock's gone. It's not too late. You want to play the momentum in something. It has to be a good gap. You have to be able to read it right. You can't play every bullish gap up and you can't play every bearish gap down, but the good ones you can and they have momentum and this is what happened with this. Huge winner. IBM was another one. This was a put, okay? So the stock gap down. This was a day trade that failed as a short, but guess what? Call it the next day as a put or the day of, and then it fell. Exit on this for the first target was 150. It was last week. This still has another week and a half left in it till the 26th. This could have another break down before then, but the stock still is lower. But this was the first target that it reached last week on Thursday, which was 150. So if you did this, you made money. Strike in this was 155. It went $5 plus through the strike. This was a overnight short because you bought a put in the call here. But again, I based it on the gap. So even though it failed as a day trade short, the gap rated good, so I called it as a put. And very often, some of these losers, Depot does not qualify though, because Depot just is a failure. But some of these losers end up turning right around to be winners that in the following day as a day trade or you can do an option in it, and they flip. I find that that happens very often, although not always, okay, because Depot isn't one of those you can do that with. Anyways, you could make money doing this lower. Then Amazon was one I called as well last week. I called it on Friday morning before the open. You could have taken it in the morning. The strike was 960. It ran up through the strike on Friday, had a rest day yesterday, Monday, and blew up here today. And last week I said, when I made the call in the room, that this is probably gonna go to 970, 950. I mean, a 970, 975 before it expires, which is Friday, and the stock went to 970. It went over that today. So, I mean, this was a great, great trade here today to get out of this today, but it still looks higher. But this, you know, you could have gotten out of it Friday. You could have got out of it today. So, again, people, people want to wait for pullbacks. They miss all the move. They miss all the momentum. I'm sure many, many people would, this is just so aggressive to call these trades like this, and they're flying through the numbers. So, you know, you, you, you have to really look at what's happening in a chart. And here, I'm going to get through this. And I think we're going to have time for I could bring up, bring up my live charts and we'll look at some things live. We'll look at the market when I'm done here with these examples. But, but people have to, people are trained, people are trained incorrectly. That's the, best, that's the best way I can say it. People are trained to read charts incorrectly. There. That's the truth. Okay? If you have faith in a system or in me, then you come and learn from me and you take my calls and you're gonna make money. Now, if you're all screwed up in the head, that you don't believe you can make money in the market, or you're scared to take something if it doesn't pull back, then I can't help you with that, all right? But the way that I'm making the calls, which are all working, and the basis for this is the gaps, okay? All right, Galahad, we'll look at Urban. The next one here that I called, I've made two calls on this in the last month, but anyways, I called Google on Friday, had to move up yesterday. I called the 940s, went over the strike today. Again, this looks great. I don't know where this closed. Looks amazing. Galahad, I think you said to get out of this today. So you could have got out of it yesterday. You could have got out of it today. This is an option. I called the 940 calls. It's through the strike. Again, boom, boom, boom. You're in it for two days, three days. And you could still be in this, actually. So it's visible income. You want to make money. You want to make money consistency, consistently. You want to you want to book it, okay? You take trade after trade after trade and you're making money. You, you realize you can do it. Your profit was $1,000 in that? Okay, good job, Galahad. That was a good job. So anyways, you know, I tend to want to do for myself, for the day trades, the short side because they move fast. But a lot of these options I've been calling to the upside of a movie fast. Making money fast is a lot of fun to me. I also feel not so stressed. When I'm in and out of these trades very quickly, like even the JCPenney, you know, just to make 750 bucks, to be in and out of something in a couple of minutes on a Friday morning, you know, into the weekend, 
th that's very comfortable for me, all right? I don't like waiting for trades to go. I don't trade like that. If something doesn't go immediately, it's probably not gonna work. So to give you some perspective, you know, on money and, and the concept of making money in the market, the minimum wage, and I actually had to look it up. I, I, I'm so out of touch here with what the current minimum wage was, and New York, I think, is higher than the average federal minimum wage. But $7.25 an hour is the minimum wage for people. I, I probably make seven twenty five dollars a second in some of my trades, or less than a second. I mean, to, to, to get a handle on the reality, this thing that many of you are trying to do is amazing if you get it right. So it is worth the effort and the cost to learn it because most people are not making anywhere near this kind of money in anywhere near the kind of time that you can in the market. It doesn't mean that you don't have to put some effort towards it, but don't overcomplicate it by forcing yourself to trade all day, learning a million different strategies and making it hard. Okay? So, you know, to, to get some perspective, trading is an amazing thing once you get it down. And it does get easier the longer that you do it over the years. You train your eye to read charts correctly, like I have, and, and it will come to you. And in the meantime, you take the trades that I'm calling if you want to be with me and join the room or, or, or sign up for the options letter. But you got to learn the system to be with me in the room. Does anyone have any questions so far? Any questions? I think we will have time to bring some charts up here. Anyways, when you get to a point when you, when you realize that this works and that the power is within yourself to, to, to make money, you, you feel more powerful. It's, it's empowering, okay? It's very empowering to me. Number one, I created my own system myself. That's empowering. Number two, I'm making predictions now and p other people besides myself are making money on them. That's empowering for me, okay? And number three, I am making very bold, outrageous predictions in stocks and they are working and that is really empowering, okay? So open up your eyes. If your life and your trading is not what you want it to be, then look at it from a different way, okay? Realize something's not right. If you're feeling depressed or financially strapped, that's not the way you're supposed to live, okay? I truly believe that as human beings, our past in life, we're supposed to be happy, okay? Our lives are not supposed to be a struggle. And I don't believe that trading is supposed to be a struggle either, okay? Many people make it a struggle for themselves. And I'm not saying it wasn't hard for me at the beginning. It was very hard for me at the beginning. But I pushed through it. But many people don't. They stay in the struggle. And then they tend to become negative, keep losing, stretch the losses over years, never really want to turn around their mental attitude, believing again that it's possible. And, and you have to overcome that, okay? The challenges that we have in life when things aren't going our way are opportunities for us to learn from them and we have to recognize that. It's not the end of the world, okay? Sometimes we, we decide to do something and our lives get better and that's the point I'm trying to make. If, if you've been trading for years and years and losing and you, and, and you think you know how to trade, the fact is you don't or you wouldn't be losing, okay? So sometimes you gotta open up your eyes and say, wait a minute, something here isn't right. And many people that I talk to are very smart, very bright, okay? It's not about you. It's not about the fact that you're not bright. You probably are. It's that you don't know what to focus on. And you've been taught something in an incorrect way, okay? So don't blame yourself for it. Think of things in a new perspective. You got to let the losses go if you've had them in the market, whether they be in the market themselves or in taking previous classes. And, and you've got to open up your eyes and see a different perspective that maybe this thing can turn around. Maybe I actually can make this thing work. I want to make this thing work, you say to yourself. I don't want to earn minimum wage. I don't want to be scraping it together. I want to get ahead in life. It's worth it. That's the attitude that people have to have if they want to come into the market and if they want to be successful. And as I was saying, being successful is empowering. Whether you're a woman, whether you're a man, whether you're 25, whether you're 72, it doesn't matter, okay, how young or old you are. 
or your sex, it is empowering to, to know that you could go and take money out of the market. It's almost like a real job, except for it's not because you don't have a boss. And that's a great feeling, okay? The control is actually yours. You can't make stocks move, but the control for which stocks you decide to trade, the size you take in them, and your entries and exits, that control is yours. And also the control that someday maybe you don't want to take a trade. Some days I get up, I say, I don't like anything today. There's nothing good. I'm not trading. Nothing meets my criteria. That's empowering too. No one's forcing me to trade on the days when something doesn't meet my criteria, okay? So anyways, how do I do it? My system is a, a checklist. That's the, that's the meat and potatoes of what I do. It's a 26 point checklist I use to trade. Boom, okay? I fill it all out, rate it. So I have a rating system for gaps. I'm looking for a high probability directional bias for the entire day. In an ideal world, I'd want the move to continue all day. I'm looking for big moves on the day, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. So that's what I'm looking for too, all right? I want to take a trade and know that I'm gonna get a move in something. And again, the philosophy is I'm looking at the daily chart. I'm looking at the overall large time frame daily chart, trying to make a decision to predict where the stock's gonna go on that day. And if you wanna do it overnight as an option, you have to be able to predict where it's gonna go in the next few days or, or on the day, you could do it as a day trade option. But I'm making entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame on the one minute chart of my day trades, like the Macy's I showed you and the JCPenney. And that allows for a high degree of accuracy because I have to put the stop because I gotta get out of that trade before the end of the close, okay? And that also allows me to be a little nimble, taking the size in it with the stop and the risk and getting the drop. And this allows for accuracy and a good risk to reward to be able to take 4,000 shares of something or 5,000 shares of something that's a big size in a day trade to me, okay? And I think for most people. So what is a good risk to reward? One, two, or three, okay? That's generally what you'll be looking for every day. It depends how long you hold it and where you get out. Something like the Macy's, it was a huge, huge trade, went past the dream target. You know, there'll be days where you will hold something like that and you might make, you know, 10 risk units. You don't know until the stock opens and starts moving and trading if it's really gonna make it there in the time frame by the day. But sometimes you can tell very early in the first half hour if the stock's really collapsing. Or same thing with the longs if it's rallying a lot. And the options plays, you're looking really for 100% return on investment, and most of the ones have been calling, but 50% is good. So if you get a move right up right away and you make 50%, you risk 500 bucks, you're up 250, you can get out. If you're up 500 bucks and you risk 500 bucks, that's a good trade. If you risk $1,000, you're up $1,000, that's a good trade, okay? You gotta kind of add some commas to these trades for people that are trading smaller size to get to the point where you're making the $1,000 a day goal because you're never gonna get there if you're not profitable. If you're losing, 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 okay, you can't take the risk necessary to make $1,000 a day. You gotta to prove to yourself you can do it, even if you're only making 200 bucks a day for a week, just to prove to yourself that you can do it. You can see the gaps, take the entries, get out when you're up, stop trading, okay, not trade past the morning. I'm talking a lot here. Any questions as I'm going through? Anyways, the rating system pinpoints the opportunity. And, and that's how I know before these big moves happens. And that's how people are making money with me. And that's how I'm making money because I'm getting in the trade and entering it before the move happens. Everybody in the world can see, you know, that the stock has moved after it's done. Okay. So how much are you going to risk to make $1,000 a day? I'd say anywhere between $500 and $1,000 per trade. That's a good amount. It's an advanced risk. You also will be strict with your stops. You'll put a stop in, okay? The number of trades per day, you will try to stick with one, maybe two, max, preferably one, okay? Those are some guidelines that I would give people. If your goal is to make $1,000 a day, that's about five grand a week. And some days you'll get trades where you can make more than half your goal for the week in one trade. And if you can do that on a consistent basis over the year, it's you know well over $250,000 a year. And you don't need to do another job if you don't want to. But even if you're making $500 a day on average, that's $2,500 a week, that's still good income. That's a salary for many people. Way, way above, you know, 
hourly, your typical minimum hourly rate wages, okay? And, 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 and again, you're not trading all day. You're in and you're out quickly. Half an hour, five minutes, 15 minutes. A long trade for me is if I'm in something for 45 minutes or an hour. So, you know, once you start doing this and you get good, you can take more risk. You can make this kind of money and combining doing it with options, I think is the best case scenario to do it all, all right? If you're at a certain age in your life and you're not doing well, or you feel like you are not where you wanna be financially, the nice thing about trading is that even if you're retired or semi-retired, okay, or working part-time, you can do this because it doesn't take a lot of time each day. You will have to learn the system from me in the class and I'm the support system for you in the room to give the calls. But the bottom line is that there's no reason for you to feel like you can't be where you want to be financially without going back to working, you know, a 40 hour work week. The, the nice thing about people that are at a certain age where they are retired is they've got the time to focus and, and watch the charts and actually learn it. Uh, you know, you, you know, people have the time. And if you're young, you've got all the time in the world to learn it. You've got all the time in the world and the energy to do it. And if you're very, very young, I mean, and you get good at doing this, the sky's the limit for the money you can make in your, over your lifetime. I wish I had learned how to do this, you know, years before I did. I started trading at the end of 2008. I mean, I, I wish I had started trading, you know, right after college. I just, you know, I didn't know about the market. But, you know, if you're at a point in your life and you've got a full-time job or career and you're unhappy with it, you can do something about it. It's a transition period. I don't suggest anyone to quit their job and up and start to trade. I didn't do that myself. I transitioned. I worked full-time and taught myself how to trade. So I traded every day and worked full-time, okay? It's very hard to rely and think that any career industry that you're in right now will last forever. Again, it's the idea of self-empowerment. Look at the healthcare system. It's a mess. It's getting worse, okay? I did mortgages. I was in banking. That was falling apart. I mean, you can think of anything. You think, well, this is going to last forever. Really? It might not. And look at the real estate market, too. So the idea of the, I mean, the stock market's always going to exist. Let's face it, okay? It's always there. It's always going to exist. But, you know, if you don't know how to trade it, you can't make money. And I think the best thing for people can do is to make decisions themselves about their future. So the more often that you make money on a consistent basis, the more confidence you will build in yourself. And not only that, you will have conviction in the market. You will see that it's possible you can do it. This conviction will help you produce positive results. One of the reasons I think that I make such good calls is because I am. And, and it's helping my confidence. It's helping my confidence to just spit out the call when I see it, almost, almost instinctively. I have such a great trained eye, but I trained that eye over eight years. But I do have a, an instinct, okay, from doing gaps. And, and my, my confidence is high because I call so many good trades and then I call good trades and it keeps my confidence building. So I keep calling them and they keep working. <laughs> so it just builds on itself. It's like, it's like things just keep getting better once you start doing it. But you got to start from a place where things are getting better. If you're at a place and you're losing and they're not getting better, how is your confidence ever going to get better? It's not. You're never going to get positive again. You've got you've to kind of be honest with yourself if you're not doing well, what's going on, okay? Work through the challenges so that you can be successful. So you've got to have the right attitude. You've got to have the right attitude to do this. And I say to people, listen, if you're going to trade, you may, as well, you may as well risk good money and you may as well make a lot. If you really want to do this, you may as well go full on and do it. Do the options, do the day trades, risk $1,000 a trade if you've got the money to do it. Maybe not right after the class if you have to learn it first. But the point is, if you're going to do this, why not make more? Why not make good money? Okay. It's, if you're going to do it, then go full on and make the money. There's a certain level of security in having money at any age that you're at. And I and so if you're going to get good at it, why not? So anyways, this the class is a method that I designed for myself. I never figured out my system, my 26-point rating system for anybody other than myself. I created a system for myself to use, and that's probably one of the reasons it's so good. I never thought I'd have a business or teaching people or any of this stuff. 
it was an evolution over time. My friends talked me into starting a business and teaching it and actually just started out me doing some videos on YouTube and talking about my own trades. And then I realized I had a voice and that's how it all came together. But what you learn from me in the class is 100% authentic. It's the notes that I, that I did when I first created my system and, and, and how I figured everything out. What I figured out for myself, never to teach anyone. And now I've had the business since for the last almost five years. So it, it, is, it is very exciting to see people doing so well with me. And, um, and, I, and I think that it helps people be more positive also seeing that regular people can do it. So anyways, I teach a class. My class is called the Golden Gap Course, okay? You can learn it from me this weekend. It's Saturday and Sunday. And the purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. So I get up in the morning, I go through the checklist. I never skip it. Today I did it, yesterday, every day I go through. I never skip it. I rate the gaps I see in the morning. We'll look at Urban here if we have time in a minute to see if that's doable in either direction. The Golden Gap course teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches students how to play the stock on the day for the entries, okay, which is important because you want to get in early and you have to know what you're doing to get in on that one-minute chart. You will also learn from me chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. So it's a complete system. You don't need anything else from my gap course to learn how to trade, all right? And then you can join the room if you want to and take the calls from the room. So as I said, the course is a full two-day course on how to find, pick, play, and stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is online, and it is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, May 20th and 21st, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $49.99. You have to email me if you want to sign up. The registration papers are not on the website, so you have to contact me if you want to do it. And I'm doing a day three, which I normally don't, on the Monday, which is the 22nd, where we will go through and look at gaps live in the morning in the room and trade. And I think that will be very, very helpful for people. It will be beneficial for the new people, and it also usually helps the room people too when we do that. Now, if you're interested in overnight trades or long-term swing trades, I also teach a class called the Trends Course. Again, you've seen some of these that have continued. The dates of the class is June 14th and 15th, if you want to do the trends class. Cost of the class is $9.99. If you're interested in this, you can email me too. And if you want to sign up for both, you save $500. So if you want to do the May Gap class and the June trends course, you will save $500. Cost of the class is $54.99. Okay. Apple is asking the option trades you can get in between 9.30 and 10, but you will, you will not be getting out of them if you want a bigger move at 10. Is that your question? Do you want to go look at those charts? Here, I'll bring up my charts here. We do have time. I think that's your question, but I'm not sure. Anyways, empower yourself and you can trade. Now let's look here and see. I think that Apple is patty. Let me pull up my charts. Well, I think that's patty. Patty's on the option letter list. Patty, did you do the Google? Did you do it? It ran up. I hope you did. In fact, in fact, when I was talking earlier today, I was talking about Baba. I was talking about you. You emailed me. It was too late to do this trade. You're probably kicking yourself in the butt if you didn't do it. Did you do it or not? I hope you did it. But I remember you telling me and emailing me, it's too late, it's too late. I said, no, it's not, it's not too late. I don't know if you did it. Did you do this, Patty? Now the options trades, you're gonna wanna get in as soon as I give the call. I might give the call on the letter at 9.30, I might give it before the open, I might give it at two o'clock in the afternoon. If I give it in the afternoon and you're not at your computer to take the call, then you will get it in the next morning. Yes, you will do it in the morning. As far as the exits, you get out when you're up or at the first target. That may not be at 10 o'clock. The day trades, you want to get in and out between 9.30 and 10. That's the focus for those. But the options trades do have similar times when they get the move. If you wanted to get out every day at 10 in these, you would be up. But if you want the bigger move, you're going to hold it. For example, Google ran up today. What is this in here? 9.42.40, 10 o'clock. Where did it go? Where did it, it looks like this is gapping up tonight here. 
943. Actually, you could have got out of this. You would have missed 60 cents off the high if you got out of it at 10 o'clock today. Here, let's look at Amazon. You could play them that way. You could play them that way. High today was what in Amazon? 970.06. Let's see the high today at 10 o'clock on Amazon. Boom. 968. Still profitable trade. 960 was a strike. Eight dollars for the strike. You could have got it up two more dollars if you held it into 12.15. But this was a perfect exit. There's nothing wrong with this. Yep, you could have got out of this at 10 o'clock too. So you could trade those that way if you want to, Patty. If you want to do that, you could do it too. Baba ran up into the close. The very first one you did, that's okay. That's okay. You you will be up money in all of these. That's fine. Decide what you want to do. You have to decide. I'm not saying that you were going to get all of these big moves anyways. I'm saying that I did tell people they would go there, though, which is kind of ironic. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Last week when I called this in the trading room, the day that I called it, I don't know if it was Wednesday or Thursday. I think it was Thursday. I'm like, this is going to 970, 970. I'm like, I, I should have taped myself. I don't even, did I tape myself, Galahad? I said, I said, I know you're going to think this is crazy, but this is going to go probably to 970, 975. I said, I know this is a crazy number, but it's probably going to go there. That's exactly what I said. In fact, I might even have done a video on YouTube when I went over the trade. In fact, I, I think I did. I said it in the room and I think I did it in the video because I'm like, this is crazy. But in fact, when I said that, this is what the chart looked like. Here's what it looked like, and then it was in the morning, and then it was gapping, and it was hovering here like an angel. And I'm like, I know you're gonna think this is crazy, but this probably goes to 970, 975 before the 19th. So, whatever you wanna do, you have to decide. I think it's good for you, Patty, because you're so new to the system to get out every time you're up, because it's very important for you to be green, you, it's very important for you to make money, whether it's $500, $200, $1,000. For you, it is not about a huge home run until you get used to doing them. You've only been on the letter for like two weeks, and some of them you haven't done because you didn't think they were, you thought it was too late. So I, if I were you, I would get out every time you're up right now because it is important for you to make money. That is the most important thing for you. Green, 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 green every day. That's going to help build your confidence. Did I say it in a video, Galahad? I don't even remember. Here, let's quick look at Urban. Let's just see if this is anything interesting whatsoever. This isn't even gapping. Urban? Urban isn't gapping. This can't be what you mean here. <clears throat> Galahad, you wanted me to look at a chart. Urban is not gapping at all. It's flat. So there's no, there's no play here. Well, that's a bust. Here, we'll quick look at Target. So Target's out tomorrow morning, you say? Well, let's see. Any questions from anyone at all about gaps, about the class, about options, about day trades, about shorts, about anything? We have a few minutes here. Oh, we'll just have to wait and see what this does. Nobody knows. So we wait until it gaps, and then I'll read it. Don't do anything in this until then. Listen, have a great night, everyone. Thanks for having me. If you would like a child of the room, email me here. Target is tomorrow morning. We'll see what we get. John C., I watched your live trading on YouTube and liked it a lot. Thank you. Can I request a free trial in the trading room, please? Yes. Email me there because I can't see your email here, and I will send it to you tonight. And we'll see what we get with Target. A, I don't know if Target will gap up or down, and B, I don't know where it will gap, so I can't rate it until it gaps. And then if, if it's good in either direction, I may do an option in this. I don't know. So, Patty, be at your computer tomorrow to watch, because if I do see something in this, it'll probably be early. But I don't know what this is going to do, so I can't say anything now. We wait and see.
And the same thing with Baba, okay? This is gonna do something, but you don't know if it's good or not until it does the gap, okay? You don't know. This thing here tonight is a bust. Now, it actually looks right now that it's trying to gap down a little bit. Between now and 9.30 is a long time away. So maybe Urban will do something good tomorrow. Who knows? But Target would be a nicer one. Let's not jinx it. Yeah. Well, the, I've been on a roll here with, with, with everything. There's... I just got to stay focused myself. The things I say to you, I remind myself, focus, 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 focus. And I have a lot of distractions, trust me, because I'm running a room. So I'm saying the things to you. I'm saying them out loud to myself. Listen, have a great night, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Email me if you want to try out of the room, if you want to sign up for the GAP class this weekend or the options letter. Call me if you have questions. Okie doke. Have a great night, everyone. You're welcome.